They are some of the most destructive animals on the planet, hurting agriculture, the environment, and wallets. Feral hogs are invading farms and ranches all over South Texas. But as the Night Team's David Sears shows us, thanks to modern technology, more and more hogs are getting trapped before they can destroy. Feral hogs are a pretty big problem. They're an agricultural problem. That's where you first see it. Nick Dornack is the Plum Creek Watershed Coordinator and is heading a program designed to help ranchers in Hayes and Caldwell County get rid of those nasty nuisances. Our biggest issue with them is, is the grass and then running fences. They'll come through a fence and plow it over. Brian Heideman is now armed with the newest weapon in fighting feral hogs. A new high-tech trapping system. So far, Plum Creek has dispatched three of these remote-controlled traps to the area. The trap door operated by a cell phone. When hogs get into the trap, a motion detector sends a signal by text or email with a picture attached to Heidemann's cell phone. Then he can shut the gate. I never thought when I moved back out to the family farm that I'd be using my iPhone to, to trap hogs and, and manage the ranch. The uh, wireless trapping program is great because it allows landowners the tools to handle this. Here's the amazing thing about this trap. It doesn't matter how far Brian is away. If he's 3 feet, 30 feet, 300 feet, wherever he is. If he gets on his iPhone and sees hogs inside this trap, all you got to do is hit the button, and they're in to stay. I've been sitting at a football game in Kerrville um, and checked the trap. And it works. The first night, Heidemann trapped 29 hogs. This is the only way to do it. it it's so easy. David Hughes, KSET 12 News. For more information about the Plum Creek Feral Hog Task Force and to watch raw video of feral hogs being trapped, just look under the Expect More tab on the right side of the homepage.